everybody's had eyes on NVIDIA because of the AI GPU boom. And it's interesting to now see it coming from the other side here with what's going on with them using CPUs. And I'm speaking when I say them about NVIDIA and AMD. Look, we've seen this coming. If you've heard about the Grace Hopper, that's, you know, that's at the high top end, high performance. But we've, we knew when, when an NVIDIA went out to buy ARM, what they were thinking about. The company was thinking if it could control both the CPU and the GPU market and these architecture and all this IP that ARM had, it would have a huge advantage. It's also the reason that this deal ended up falling apart. But without a doubt, ARM architectures are going to be a big part of all CPUs. We've seen Qualcomm leading the way with its you know, CPU architecture, which is based on ARM. And this is entering a new competition for Intel. And that's been the constant challenge for Intel, more competition entering the space. However, I'm not as bearish on Intel as some. How hard is it going to be, though, for them to, to really ramp this up? Because they're already, you know, trying to, to ramp up, if we're talking about NVIDIA and I suppose AMD as well, to some extent, that the AI rollout, you know, making sure that the grace hoppers that you talked about, everyone has access to those. There's supply constraints that we're seeing right now that, that they can't make enough to sell enough. So should they be trying to do this? And where, where, where's the fab going to be in terms of the CPUs? I'm trying to just game out the situation over the next, say, two years to, to meet those 2025 targets. Look, every, every company's thinking about vertical integration, Will. I mean, if you look at what Apple did, it was able to quickly win, almost triple its market share in the compute, you know, CPU space for personal computing with the Mac by moving to an ARM architecture. And the company did it very successfully. And I think Qualcomm saw that opportunity. But remember, Qualcomm's been doing this for like six years. And it takes some time, even with the ARM architectures and the, you know, the design uh, agreements with ARM and all the OEM agreements, it has taken time. Having said that, AMD, NVIDIA have extraordinary popularity in parts of the compute ecosystem, especially in the gaming ecosystem, which could be a nice way in with some models that could come from some OEMs, from Dell, HP, Lenovo, and others. But I also think that more competition is good. Intel's next generation designs with its neural processing capabilities and its AI, uh, it's compelling. And I think ARM and Intel uh, and, and AMD and x86 and ARM going to bat is actually good for the consumer, which is something we're not talking about as much when we think about share price, but we want innovation. We want better devices, longer battery life, and we want AI to work on the device, whether or not we're connected to the cloud. 